my name is Pete Marnick um, and I just want to share with you uh, the experiences, the ups and downs of life with a CSF leak and how it's changed my life. I was an active um, man, um, I'd had a job uh, with an airline for 28 years uh, working as a manager uh, on board the aircraft. Um, all that changed about four and a half years ago um, when I was diagnosed uh, with a CSF leak. This was the second time I'd had a CSF leak. The first time um, was back in 2009 when I had a spinal fusion operation. Um, unfortunately one of the pedicure screws uh, punctured the jaw, and I had a very large leak um, that went um, <clears throat> undetected for about two and a half weeks. Uh, it was patched um, using fibre and glue um, and I suppose from then uh, on I had um, a gradual increase in symptoms. I didn't, nothing that was outstanding where I had a postural headache that I was aware that I had a postural headache. Um, just a gradual increase in headaches um, on a weekly, monthly, daily basis. And then I noticed the postural element, so the longer I was up, the worse it become. Um, and I would have to take myself to bed. Um, I was initially diagnosed with a new daily persistent headache um, from a neurologist um, who categorically denied that this would be anything related to CSF. I've been under the care of a neuro uh, neurologist uh, in the UK uh, in Stoke and he has diagnosed CSF. He knows there's, there's a CSF problem. Um, he thinks I may fluctuate between high pressure and low pressure. So the longer that I'm up, my body uh, doesn't produce the CSF that's needed and if it does, it tends to leak out. And as a consequence, I get the brain sag in the back of the head um, and the tinnitus and the uh, just the feeling of, I suppose, not being there. Um, it, it's almost a bit like um, spatial disorientation. And you just feel dreadful. Um, from almost the moment I wake up from being upright, within about 20 minutes, half an hour, uh, the pain increases, uh, the pressure increases. Not every day is like that. Some days I can get up and it starts uh, in the afternoon. As a result of not being able to fulfill my job, um, I've only just recently um, lost my job after 28 years, as I say, of doing a job that I was passionate about and I love. So unfortunately, I, at 50 years of age, I'm now um, left with no job. I don't know what the future holds for me because basically I, I, I've never been in this situation before. There's so much um, uncertainty. Um, but the one thing that I am sure of is that the, the more that we keep on um, promoting CSF, it's awareness. Trying to um, <clears throat> tell the medical profession that this does exist and this isn't just people complaining of headaches. There are certain elements that need to be investigated and the sooner that they can be investigated, the better chance people have of a diagnosis and a recovery and that will lead them to some sort of normality in life. So my life, as I say, has changed dramatically. I'm limited as to what I can do on a daily basis. Um, when I have a good day, I tend to push myself um, and consequently, consequently that leads me to then have um, days where I'm incapacitated and unfortunately it's just something I'm going to have to try and live with. I have a very supportive partner, a very supportive family, but equally I'd like my old life back um, or even just a tenth of my old life back. Um, I have to try and live and manage with what I have um, and I'm thankful for what I have, but every day is a challenge. I would urge you to try and share this uh, awareness video uh, to whoever you can and try and promote uh, the CSF charity, csfleet.info, um, as best you can. And I hope it goes towards showing you just how debilitating or a little insight into what it's like for life as a CSF leaker. 
take care and thanks for watching and listening bye bye